and the police day ends with me. We made it one more day. This will be another fast talking day, folks. Lots of information, so let's get started. So yesterday I said, if you think the information, if you think the information is a lot, a lot, wait until today. Well, all those sick and disgusting comments and Facebook posts we talked about yesterday and more are outrageous. What, but what? But also, what is really important, and in many ways an even bigger issue, is how did the Bartlesville police grow into such a corrupt police state doing all these things they are doing? Framing innocent people, lying under oath, stealing, tearing houses apart, breaching civil and human rights, and abusing citizens. All of this for many years. How did it get this way? Well, it gets that way by the Bartlesville City Council pretending they know nothing about all these corrupt acts by the Bartlesville Police and that they believe all the Bartlesville Police are great and they totally support their behaviors as they recently reiterated to the local media. They are lying. They are cover-up artists and I'm going to prove that to you today. The Bartlesville City Council knows all about and have for many years these corrupt acts by the Bartlesville Police in great detail. They are the elected officials and totally responsible, the top tier responsibility for treatment of the citizens by the Bartlesville Police and by pretending they don't even know anything about it, they are cover-up artists. Please go back and watch the video titled Complaint to the Bartlesville City Council for details on how the Bartlesville City Council is set up and has the responsibility for the treatment of citizens by the Bartlesville Police. It is the City Council's responsibility to oversee the Bartlesville Police, in fact, of course, all of the City of Bartlesville. Folks, today I'm going to show you proof that the Bartlesville City Council knew about the former City Council members' comments about police for over a month before the out-of-town media began reporting on it, bringing it, to light of it, bringing it to the light of everyone. And the Bartlesville City Council tried to cover that up for over a month. You can see this Bartlesville City Council Facebook post down in the description below. Note that it could get deleted at any time, as they will likely not want people seeing it once the video goes up. You won't see my comment as they hid the comment, but we'll go into that in a moment. You will see that the Bartlesville City Council attempted to cover up the issue, not unlike they're still covering up the corrupt Bartlesville police behaviors towards me and other citizens with civil and human rights breaches, thefts, and worse. See, it is not just the one former Bartlesville City Council member involved in cover-ups. It is the entirety of the Bartlesville City Council along with others involved. I'll pop up on the screen now a pic, picture of the current Bartlesville City Council members. Okay, let me also add that uh, as I've said many times before, since I'm not safe on the streets of Bartlesville campaigning door to door as I was, I'm not safe from the Bartlesville police, I have ended my campaign for city council. I am not running. I will not be running for city council. And also, I have not ever before, and I will not in the future, put in an application in the, to be appointed to the empty Ward 4 seat. I get asked that a lot, so I thought it, it best to state it again. No matter what, I would never want to be appointed to an elected position. I don't think, I don't judge anyone else, and I understand that that's the, the, the rules that the city have written in, in their bylaws. I don't agree with it. I don't believe anyone in an elected position should be appointed. I believe you should have to campaign and talk to the citizens and be voted in. And I never intended to be appointed to that position, period. And I will never. 
I will never put in an application. And even if I didn't and they asked me to, I would say no. I don't believe in that. I don't believe it's appropriate. Now I'm about to bring up on the screen for you the comment I posted on Bartlesville City Council, or rather Bartlesville City Government Facebook page on November 5th, 2015, more than a month before the outside of town media started reporting on those comments from the former city council member. The Bartlesville Government Facebook page then hid the comment that I placed on November 5th, 2015. They hid that comment and then blocked me from further posting on their page. You can go back and watch the video named Bartlesville Police Local Media Bootlickers to see who oversaw the hiding of that comment. The former Bartlesville Examiner Enterprise editor that contacted me and asked that I contact reporter Nathan Thompson. I'll pop up on the screen this contact now so that you can see it. Okay. Then Nathan Thompson canceled the interview that we had scheduled about all this Barsville police corruption. He canceled the interview with me 15 minutes after I was the interview was supposed to start. Then they blocked me later. They blocked me from posting on their Facebook page, the Examiner Enterprise Facebook page. And then also later I was blocked from the Pasca Journal Capital Facebook page. Now it's my understanding that both of those papers, the two largest papers around here, the two largest local papers, are both owned by the same large company. So I was blocked from all those pages. And then Nathan Thompson now continually hides my comments on his page. So it's just one big cover-up campaign from the media, of course from the city council, the Barsville police, with the media's support and help. It's just one big cover-up campaign, and they know all about what is going on, and they simply cover for the Bartlesville Police and City Council with the cover-up support. Then, as mentioned in that prior video, Bartlesville Police local media bootlickers, the City Council hired the editor of the Bartlesville Examiner Enterprise as the Bartlesville City Council Chief Communications Officer. So after I was contacted by this person, they set up a, an interview about all this corruption with the Bartlesville Police, then canceled it on me, then blocked me. They then hired the editor of the Bartlesville Examiner Enterprise as the Bartlesville City Chief Communications Officer. The City Council hired her. That's a nice cushy job, a possible payoff, likely, I'd say, possible, alleged. And at a minimum, it is an obvious conflict of interest. However, moving back to the comment I posted on November 5th, let me make sure that it is, November 5th, 2015, I can still see the comment I posted on the Bartlesville Government Facebook page about the former city council members' opinion, opinions of the police only from my account. You won't, I don't believe you'll be able to see that live because they hid that comment. But I have a screenshot of it for proof. Surely they will delete the comment entirely now or take down the entire post after seeing this video, but I still have the screenshot and that Facebook account exists. If the media wanted to say Bartlesville City Prove to us that never existed. Let us have access to your Facebook account. Let us contact Facebook and get the history on that account. There'd be no way for them to lie and get out of it. It exists. This screenshot is factual. It's a long screenshot, so I think it's, it's going to be like three screenshots. I'll leave each one up for about five or ten seconds and then skip to the next and to the next. And you can just pause it and read it if you want to. So here are those screenshots.
Okay. So the Barsville City Council knew about this on November 5th, 2015. And please do not try to pretend like, oh, well, that was put up on that Facebook page and deleted and no one ever talked to anybody about it. Just please don't be that naive, folks. If you've ever worked in management, you realize that that just doesn't happen. People don't see things like that post and just keep it to themselves. This was an organized, conspired plan process to cover this up. So the Barnesville City Council knew about this on November 5th, 2015, but they tried to cover it up, and until the out-of-town media got involved, it remained covered up with me being blocked from the Barnesville Examiner Facebook page, and the Pahuska Journal Capital Facebook page, and the Barnesville City Council, or rather, the Barnesville City Government Facebook page as well. Just one large cover-up attempt by the Barnesville City Council, all five of them, for over a month. That until the out-of-town media picked it up, picked up on the issue, and it couldn't be covered up any longer. Again, without the media, cover-ups happen, and no accountability occurs without the media. And that's why this local media being shills for the Barsville police and the Barsville government's corruption causes this police state, causes this fascism, causes this out-of-control, outrageous breaches of civil and human rights and thefts going on, and more. It is not unlike the Barnesville City Council is still, it's this cover-up attempt that they didn't, weren't able to do about this former Barnesville City Council's comments is not unlike the Bartlesville City Council is still covering up the corrupt Bartlesville police behaviors towards me and other citizens, citizens with civil and human rights breaches, thefts, and worse. And think back. I stay very objective on the release of those comments. I, I don't believe I've made any direct judgment in what the statements are. They are what they are. But ask yourself this, and I'm not, I'm not sticking up for the person that resigned, and I am not putting that person down. I'm saying this objectively, so hear me. Ask yourself this. You know for a fact, right, that the comments were made, you heard them. But ask yourself this question. Why were the comments made, and why did that person feel the way that that person does. And then think back to yesterday's video and those odd comments. What I call weird. And what objectively, I'm just repeating, that city council member called perverted. Now, I'm not saying she was referring to that comment. I'm not speaking for that person. And I'm not making any judgment on it. I'll speak for myself, but what I am saying is, is why did, did that person so quickly drop, drop the position? Why did the person feel that way? Why did the person believe those things? And why isn't that being addressed? I mean, getting to the heart of why is more important. And. We know there is a continued cover-up attempt for all these things that have been going on multiple, multiple years. This is your corrupt Bartlesville City Council and Bartlesville Police State, folks. The Bartlesville City Council knew about the former city, city council members' comments. They tried to cover it up for over a month along with the help of the local media. And if it weren't for the out-of-town media bringing it to light, it'd still be covered up today. More to come, folks. A lot more to come. The police state ends with me. And with that said, I'll see you tomorrow.